square root of 9 to the 4 plus 11 to the 4 plus 20 to the 4 all over 2. We want to calculate this. So pay attention to these three numbers, 9, 11, 20. There is a relationship between them. So what? Try to find this. Yes, 20 is sum of 9 and 11. So I call A equal to 9. In these types of problems that we have numbers, you should do these things. That uh, use variables. Then it will be easier. And A plus B is 20. Now, I try to calculate. So let me consider the numerator here, for example, as C. So I call this C over 2. And C is what? C is 9 over 4, 9 to the 4 plus 11 to the 4 plus 20 to the 4. Now I want to calculate C. If I want to replace 9 with A and 11 with B, it will be A to the 4 plus B to the 4 and 20 is A plus B to the 4. So Let's calculate it. A to the a plus b to the 4 is what? You should know binomial theorem. And by binomial theorem, let me tell you, for example, if you have x plus y to the 4, it will be x to the 4 plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the 4. So if I use this here, it will be a to the 4 plus b to the 4 for first two terms here. Plus a to the 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b to the 4. Now, from a to the 4, a to the 4, b to the 4, b to the 4. So c will be what? Will be 2a to the 4. 2b to the 4. The rest of the term will be 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed. Now here I have c over 2. c over 2 is what? Is a to the 4 plus b to the 4 plus 2a cubed b plus the next term is 3a squared b squared plus 2ab cubed. Now I want to prove that it is a perfect square. So at first you should know that if you have three terms like x plus y plus z squared, it is what? It is x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2x squared, 2xy, sorry, plus 2xz. Plus 2yz. Okay. So here, I want to write it like this. I want to say it is something plus something plus something squared. Because I have a to the 4, I place a squared. I have b to the 4, I place b squared. Then the next squared that we have 3a squared b squared, but because we multiply this like here, 2xy. We have 2a squared b squared, so you have 1a squared b squared will be left. So I place a b here. And if you calculate, it will be exactly a to the 4, b to the 4, a b squared, which is a squared b squared, 2 times first one times second one, 2a squared b squared, 2 times first one third one, 2a cubed b, 2 times second one third one, 2a b. And it will be exactly here. Okay, well, we proved this is a perfect square. Now it's good. Why? Because we want to take a square root of c over 2. So square root of c over 2 will be a squared plus b squared plus ab. a squared is what? Replace a and a with 9b with 11. 11 squared plus ab, which will be 9 times 11. 9 squared is 81. 11 squared is 1 to 1 plus 99. 99 plus is 10. We have 1, 9, 2, 11, 2. And 1 plus 1, 2. 2, 20 plus 81 is 301. Okay, so the answer is 301.
If you have a question, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, like the video. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye bye.